We are here in the Secretary of Education of São Paulo. It's located in Praça da República. Praça da República is a square in the very center of São Paulo. This building nowadays is an office building, but it used to be a school in the past. Let's take a look and know a little about this history of this school. Caetano de Campos was the first school of the Republic. This school was founded in 1846, but it used to be located next to the Sé Cathedral, in the very center of São Paulo, where there is a very famous and large square and where we can find the zero milestone of the city. In 1867, the school was almost closed down because of lack of money and investments, but then it became part of the San Francisco School. It was only then that girls started to study there. The girls studied separated from the boys. It is interesting to think that the boys study economy, how to manage a company, while the girls study how to do household chores like cleaning the house or buying food. Dr. Manuel Chavez was the teacher for all the classes. At first, this building was going to be a cathedral, but in 1890, it became a school. Before that, it had been a school for teachers. Caetano de Campos, who the school was named after, was a teacher in the old school. He was also a doctor. This building was almost demolished in 1970 to build a subway line here. But then, thanks to people that lived around the community, it was preserved. In 1979, it became an office building, and so the Secretary of Education started working here. Many famous people studied in Cartão de Campos. Sérgio Borges de Holanda, Francisco Matarazzo, Oswald de Andrade, Lígia Fagundes Teles, Emerson Fittipaldi e Patrícia Galvão, among others. The building now is considered a heritage. What is a heritage? It means it's considered a patrimony, a historical building. So, this is a model of the school. As you can see, it's shaped like a new. So, because in the beginning, there were no girls in the school, and after, they start studying here. So, the girls, they studied in one side, and the boys studied in another side. So, Fernanda, they built here a timeline of all the history of the school. Let's take a look. Okay, so here in 1846, there is the first school, and it's the first school of the Republic. So they tell here the story, and all the people who were important for the school. So, Fernanda, many names that we have in schools, for example, uh, Oscar Thompson, Miss Brown, were important people for the history of the school Caetano de Campos. And here we see that uh, Miss Brown was one of the principals here. And they have some pictures here of how, when the building was inaugurated, that they were in the Sé Cathedral, and then they moved it here. And this school was very important for the history of Brazil, because it was the first school in the Republic period, and it was visited by the kings of Belgium. Let's take a look at the rest of the story. In 1945, they had their first blind student. Her name was Dorina Novil. It's a famous name that we see in a lot of places. And they created the first course to blind students. After that, many students who were blind, they had, they had classes together with the students who could see. It's, it's really interesting. So they, there are many facts about the school. Of course, we're not going to tell them now. But what about your school? Are there important facts about your school? Uh, do you know why your school has its name? So you can create a project and create the history of your school with your teachers, with the English teacher, with the history teacher, with the arts teacher. You can start a project and then you can share with us. We'll be waiting. Thank you, Fernanda, for joining us. See you. Bye.